Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Drew, and I'm back again today with a long, very, very, very overdue video. And it's very highly anticipated, and you guys been waiting on this, and we've been busy. Sorry for all the inconvenience and all that other stuff y'all already know about if you watch our vlogs. But we're going to lead up to the Diva Room reveal. So. I'm outside of the room right now and I'm gonna walk you guys in and you guys get to see with me what all we did to the diva room. So y'all remember how the diva room used to look, right? See the little crowd, she got her lights over here and, and of course she got a desk right here. She got a two different lights and she got the things in the corner got to start with a cat at and she made her own nail racks, nail, nail polish racks and things like that. She got an inspiration board and of course. Okay, so let's let's see it now. How, how you think it look? Come on, let's go. All right, guys. So you remember how this room used to look? We'll put photos up, uh, how the room used to look. If we don't put photos up, we'll put a link in the description to the very first video that I was doing to actually do the room makeover from the start. So go ahead on and get to it. No further delay. Uh, let me show you the room. So this, of course, the bed is in the same spot we didn't see a need to actually move the bed around anywhere we was like yeah let's just leave the bed in the same spot we left with the same curtains because it really wasn't nothing wrong with that and of course my wife got love her cabbage patch dolls the first spot in the room we're gonna go to the wax table this is where she does pretty much all her wax and she has all her wax products and you know everything i don't know what the color pencils doing down there but all her wax products and she got her gloves over here that looks like my candle probably is but she got her wax right here this is pretty much where she do her face and everything she got her own little light over here set up with her little flowers and everything and on the wall right above it is where she get her nail polishes so this is a homemade nail polish rack my wife made a while ago and absolutely love it. She has a lot of nail polishes and actually that's not all. She has more nail polishes than this. That's just all that we have up right now. Over here is the bookshelf. So if you notice this item and this item was already in there. Only thing we did was paint it white and she put the glitter on it to decorate it. So we white painted with gloss, white paint, and she put the glitter on to decorate. And this is where she got all her nail stuff. So she has a lot of nail stuff. She has the dryer, the, yeah, I ain't going through all that. She has the uh, cuticle oil, all that stuff, the nail polish dryer. She got a lot of nail stuff, so that's just some of it. That's nowhere near all of it. So, talking about there's two dryers. This is the UV dry, UV ray dryer, and that's the normal nail polish dryer. This is the vanity. So it's a 13 light vanity that I made from scratch for my wife. I got uh, three vanities. One had five lights on it and two had four and I put them all together and made one. Woo! 
to me. Damn. Pretty much that vanity is connected to the top one. The top one is connected to the side one. And I got house wire, pretty much the wire that was recommended for these vanities. Cause let me explain something to you. Okay, so vanities is pretty much, hold on, let me, let me put my camera on. So let me explain something to you. Um, vanities is pretty much supposed to go into the bathrooms, over bathroom sinks and you know, different places in the house. They kind of sorta not meant to be connected together when you get them separate. So when, if you do it, you want to do it in the proper way. You don't want to, okay, it's a lot of people using extension cords and it might work for some depending on the watts of bulbs that you have and depending on how many bulbs that you're running. But if you see that your cord is getting too hot, it's because it's not meant for that. Uh, extension cord is not meant for to pull basically parallel lights because all these lights is hooked together. A extension cord is used for just plugging one or two items in. That's pretty much it. And I got a commercial leading to you know what I'm saying that for. I got a commercial cord. It's a commercial appliance cord that I got all these lights hooked into. So all of those are hooked into one commercial appliance cord and each one of those bulbs is only four watts a piece. And those are daylight bulbs. So, and also, I put a dimmer in for her. And as you can see, we got the drawers from IKEA. Got the drawers and got the desk with the glass top on it. And we put that glass top on it ourselves. We went to Lowe's and got the glass top and got another drawer on the other side from IKEA. So she got two drawers and a glass top desk with a 13 light vanity. She got her, I love these pictures that she got beside it. Yeah, she got her, she put the pictures up there to do her little decoration. And she got her chair, pretty much her diva chair with her pillow in it. So that's her chair. And then she got a rug on the floor. And she got her furry rug on the floor. So that will complete her room. You know, we got a lot of makeup for her. We got the new mirror on the desk. We got all these, everything on her desk is new. Pretty much everything except the makeup and lipsticks and everything. Of course, we need to get a lot more of those but everything is on her desk is pretty new. But of course, you know, she always had the TV on the wall. And that was pretty much it. Overall, I, I really was proud of myself the way everything came out at the end. Um, I just got tired of my wife with a very dark makeup room where she, was, she had like a lot of these lights that's plugging on the side of your desk. And which is nothing wrong with that. If that's what you can afford then, you know, that's fine. But I knew I could do better for her at the moment, and I did. And it took me, no lie, it took me a while to do this vanity because the vanity didn't come as thick width-wise as I would like. So I was hoping that come a lot thicker than that was. So because I had a dimmer going in it, and if all you know, the dimmer is pretty thick. So I had to put a hole in the back of the wall where the dimmer is at. So I had to put a hole behind the dimmer and I put a, um, a actual blank junction box behind it so it does it like, you know, touch in and the wires don't touch anything. I electrical tape it, made sure it was safe. I, but needless to say, but needless to say, I had to do a lot more work than I expected that day. But I got it done, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the room tour. This is my wife's makeup room now, and she absolutely loves it. We're looking to put a new nail polish stand in soon. So besides that, it's complete. I 
really enjoy all the nice comments you guys gave us on the first video because I really was trying to do something special for my wife with this whole process. She enjoyed it. We had fun doing it. And we really thank you guys for supporting us always. And please be sure to give us those big thumbs up, subscribe, and share on all your social medias how you see fit. All right, guys, later. Peace. Hey family, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Please be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, check out our latest video and be sure to subscribe. Bye, Bye guys. guys.